President Biden's campaign says former President Trump is inciting political violence after he shared a video on social media showing what appears to be an image of the president tied up and kidnapped in the back of a pickup truck. ABC's political director Rick Klein joins me now for more. Rick, does this qualify as inciting political violence and how is the Trump campaign responding to what the Biden camp is saying here? Yeah, this is a very brief portion. You really have to slow down the video to, to see it. That was posted, a uh, por portion of a video that was taken, uh, according to the Trump campaign, just along the roadway on Long Island last week when, when Donald Trump was in town to uh, uh, commemorate the fallen, sol uh, the fallen uh, police officer who had been, uh, who had been killed. Uh, from the Biden campaign's view, this is, uh, this is dangerous imagery in the context of, uh, of other incitements that they'll cite. Uh, from the Trump campaign's view, this is something that was out there on a public roadway, and it was, it was very brief and very quick. And I think often with Donald Trump, the, the point is the provocative uh, action, the provocative uh, gesture, uh, the provocative image, uh, and then uh, they're happy to deal with any fallout uh, that, that occurs as a result. Now, President Biden and former President Trump also shared very different messages on Easter Sunday. Walk me through that, the strategy there and the reaction those messages are getting. Yeah, it is striking because uh, in addition to the traditional White House Easter message, you saw the, the, the President Biden commemorate the natural, National Day of Trans Visibility, which occurs on March 31st traditionally. Uh, that got some backlash from the right, I think, misconstruing what that resolution was or what the commemoration was. It's always on the 31st. It happens to be Easter Sunday. That doesn't take away from the Easter message uh, that, that pr President Biden, a divide about Catholic, uh, shared. Uh, from Trump's perspective, uh, keep in mind that uh, Earlier in the week, he was uh, he was hawking Bibles. He had endorsed an official Donald Trump Bible that we believe he has a financial stake in. Uh, he had a, a, a kind of a searing message um, against uh, against a lot of the the judges uh, and the legal mechanisms that are mo that are mobilizing against him or that are now holding up a lot of parts of his campaign. In addition to his Easter message, I think it's a it's a bit of a kerfuffle that doesn't actually signify much, other than again remind people that are in Trump's camp why they're there, and remind people that in Biden's camp or the anti-Trump camp why they're there. And Rick, last week, President Biden broke records with a fundraiser and how much money they raised in this joint event with former President Obama and former President Clinton. Now, Trump and the Republican Party are planning a joint fundraiser in Florida, and they say it will likely raise more money than that event in New York last week. How significant is that? And what does, what does it tell you about this presidential race? Well, first, I think it's important in the fine print of this. We don't know if it's actually going to break that record number. We won't know for several weeks whether they raise that kind of money. It's very plausible, uh, given there's $800,000 or so max out donation. And if you give the maximum, at least a few thousand dollars of that money is going to go to one of, one of Donald Trump's PACs that has been funding uh, some of the, 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 the legal bills uh, to the tune of $50 million plus. So there is some interesting, um, interesting side notes to what exactly the money is going toward. Uh, but here's the thing, Diane. I don't think either candidate is going to be hurting for money uh, this year. This election is not going to be won or lost based on whether they're well-funded. They're going to have that access. And the, the RNC and the Trump operation is now uh, coming into a little bit more action, although they acknowledge they're likely to be outspent by Joe Biden. They say they're not going to raise um, as much money as uh, Joe Biden dollar for dollar. All right. Political Director Rick Klein, always great to have you, Rick. Thank you. Thanks, Diane. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.